Hey, morning, people. I have to bring my car in for a repair. It sucks. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Anyway, this is where I'm coming to this guy here. Guy, check him out. His name's Steve. He's a good guy, you know what I'm saying? So this is the garage inside. You know, so. I don't know how much it's going to cost me, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I just dropped off the car to Steve, and uh, he's going to take care of it. I got to take the bus. Are you going to take care of it? It's a uh, fan clutch, and uh, you got to check the brakes for it. So now I'm going to walk in. I uh, just got off the bus, and uh, I'm going to head over to the park. I'm gonna head over to the park. See what's up. Alright, so here I am. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sit back and take some sunlight. It's nice and hot. I wanna get a tan. I can't afford to go to the tanning salon, so I gotta tan this way. You know. But this is this is my neighborhood. Like my brother goes, wow, it's hot out here, man. Oof. Real hot. Well, listen, don't forget to subscribe because um, uh, I need all the subscriptions I can get. Yeah, I'm talking about you guys who uh, got the half a million viewer subscriptions, you know, a million viewer subscriptions. You know, it's nice to share the love and tell people that um, to subscribe to other people, you know. Tom Mabe does it. He subscribes to other people. So I don't know why you can't subscribe to other people. You know, I'm talking about people like Jack Vale, you know, Frank versus Frank, Jesse and uh, his wife and Gina and, uh, and uh, John and Nikki and uh, Roman Atwood. You know, people I follow, Vitaly, all these people. You know, Fousey, all you guys. You know, you should you should subscribe. Don't just um, want us to subscribe. If you're sharing the love, share it. Share it, okay? You know, if you want to, you want me to smile more. Share the love, man. All right. Again, like I said, Tom May does it, and he's a decent person. You know, it's not all about him. He knows about the fans, and if I'm a fan, take care of me. Yeah, I don't mean to be a complainer, but you know, these people, you see back there, I don't know if you could see them. I don't know if you could see them. I don't want to become a complainer. Uh, but I don't know if you can see these people behind me. Let's see if I could pick them out. They, uh, they have a pit bull. And um, they let them run around with no collar, no, no, no restraint. And this is the way it is in this park. Everybody leaves their dogs off the leash, even though we have a leash law. And everybody seems to think that, you know, let me leave. Yeah, they chase the fucking squirrels and the birds and, you know, and, and it's fun to them. You know, if some kid's running, he's going to get hurt one day, you know. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But they're back there, you know, enjoying, the, you know, walking their, their, their pooch, you know. Is. This dog running back there. It's a pit bull. I have no collar, no leash. I might have a collar, it just got no leash. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know, it's not right to be walking your dog uh, with no restraint, especially if it's a pit bull. No good. Is that a selfie? Can I make a selfie out of that? Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Don't touch the side. You owe me about five thousand dollars for the repair of the car. Touch what? What do you mean five thousand dollars?
there's nothing wrong with this car. They've been at it all day. All day. Five thousand dollars. So here I am in the car, I just got it back. Uh he was only joking about the five thousand dollars. I almost threw shit fit, you know. But I'm, I, I bought some chicken. My wife wanted to know what's for dinner. It's late. It came out to eight seventy. The the stupid car, eight hundred seventy dollars. But you know what? This guy Steve, you gotta go to the shop. It really, he's really good. He's that good. If you're in Astoria, go to see Steve because um, <clears throat> he's honest. He does good work. He don't mess around. His employees are good too. I gave him a tip. So I came that day, um, eight eighty, and then the battery yesterday was another hundred and forty-five dollars. So it was like uh, nine thousand uh, something I paid for the weekend, for the week, for the car, for the week, for the car. Now I need a vacation. My plan is to go to Florida. Well, you know I'm saving, but. Yet, maybe next year. You know, I want to get this uh, YouTube channel off the ground. I need you people to subscribe. I, I know I'm messing around here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I'm waiting over here outside my in my car, waiting for my wife to come out of work. You know, that's where she works. She's up there. She's up there in the second floor. Let me see. First floor, single floor, that, that's her window right there, that's her window, she just waved to me a little while ago, anyway, it's nice over here, let me take you out for a tour, Ooh. Sunny out. It's a nice house over there. That's a real nice house. She got that house. She got the dog. Hey, Tom, it looks like Annie. <laughs> it looks like your little Annie. Okay, I see this lady going by. This is not a conversation. This is not a conversation. Here she comes. This is another conversation. Oh, God. I'm on my way for you on uh, 30th Avenue. I like that. She can't see it. <laughs> I'll wait for you on 30th Avenue. No way for me. I got a wife coming. <laughs> she was joking me. Oh God! Hey, pick a boy here. Kid behind the camera here. Who's that? Kid behind the camera here. Mister West over here. What a waste of life. That—that's what you call trailer trash. And people, like, they're pigs, man. You know, they're pigs. Look at my nails. Clean. Compared to them men, they're pigs. They got dirty nails, dirty teeth, dirty everything. I don't know. I don't know how you people follow them. But I don't want to say nothing bad about them because, you know, they got a big fan club. You know, that's what I need. But <laughs> I, he, he's, he must be, like, really whacked out or something. Because the way he talks with his hands. Keep behind the camera, can you? Keep behind the camera. <laughs> Bro, it's boredom, it's boredom. <laughs> you ever see these pranksters? They're all funny, man. They're all funny pranksters. But they all got some whacked up looking faces, man. I know I got a whacked up face too, but. <laughs> like Roman Atwood, man. He reminds me of uh, my cousin, you know. 
my cousin in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Smile more. Oh my god. He's a little whacked out. Vitaly, his eyes are like that. One over here, one over there. <laughs> Let me see. Jack Vale, I think Jack Vale is getting a little crazy with his his uh, his vlog and his uh, trying to uh, come up with some pranks. You know, I I like I like Jack Vale, but his pranks are like a little lame lately. You know, I saw the last one. He wanted turnt, turnt, something like that. How to twerk? Sorry, how to twerk? The only one that's cool, uh, the vlog's real cool, is Tom Maybe Maybe I have a a liking to him, you know, I favor him more because he's a decent guy. He comes and he he called me up. He called me up and uh, he, uh, he's a cool guy. He, he actually acknowledged one of my videos. He actually favored, he uh, tweeted, not tweeted, he became my friend on Twitter. That's that's what I call a cool guy. You know, it's like, uh, he's trying to help me get my blood, my, my feet wet, I get off, get off, uh, my side off, you know, to a good start. Granted, he has a lot of, a lot of uh, subscribers, but, I don't know, I only got like uh, 50, maybe 50 or something hits. From his website, yeah, not everybody's interested in my type of uh, humor. <laughs> Who cares? Listen, there's a market for everything, whether good or bad. I get drips and drabs. I got people are coming in. They're starting to see the. Um, I think outside the box. I don't think like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just eventually, I'll come up with some kind of. Uh, format to humor you, you know, so, just you stay tuned, you're going to be cracking your ass off, he goes to this guy over here, he saw the chick bump his car, and now he's like freaking out and shit, you know, well, just wants to let her know that that's his car, why are you bumping my car, why are you bumping my car, oh god, why are you bumping my car? Don't you say something to her? You got no balls. Say something to her. Did you bump my car? This your car? I don't know what the hell is wrong. She's bumping my car. Is somebody in there? Now listen, you bumped into my car. I you know what the hell is wrong with you? You know, you should you got all this space. If you don't fit there, why are you bumping my car? You just had to say something. It was getting his goat. He just had to say something. Yeah. You know, who the hell do you think she is? She's bumping my car. Yeah. He's still complaining. She bumped my car. What the hell? Don't they know how to park around here? Shit. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. She bumped my car. Oh shit, oh shit. Look, and she's still bumping this car. Look, look, look. She's still bumping it. Bump it! Do you still have that YouTube shop? Stop recording. A new one. He's recording you now. Good. Say, subscribe to the subscribe. two old guys. Subscribe. To the two old guys. To the... Two old guys. Two old guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. Cool, because she said two old farts. <laughs>